A good sign in the effort to keep kids safe from COVID. Pfizer just announced that a lower dose of its coronavirus vaccine appears to be safe for children ages 5 to 11. And while the data still needs to be submitted to the FDA, this could be a big step toward making the vaccine available to that age group. KPI X5's Kit Doe with a look at the details of the new study and what top Bay Area health experts are saying about it. Kit? Yes, so for this trial, the process was similar to other trials, except for one thing. Instead of the adult dose of 30 micrograms, they dropped it down to 10 micrograms for the kids and still got promising results. Pfizer tested nearly 2,300 kids ages 5 to 11, giving them two doses 21 days apart. They then showed a favorable safety profile, and the antibody responses in the participants given 10 microgram doses were comparable to those recorded in a previous study in people 16 to 25 years of age immunized with 30 microgram doses. Vaccine was well tolerated, with side effects generally comparable to those observed in participants 16 to 25 years of age. Said that they had a uh, robust response response um, amongst the kids. Does that surprise you? No, they don't, it doesn't surprise me. Children tend to respond better to vaccinations than adults. Dr. George Rutherford at UCSF says the next step is to get approval from the FDA, then the CDC, and then the Western State Scientific Safety Review Workgroup. It could be approved for the kids by Halloween. You're probably talking a space of three, three, maybe four weeks to get this all ready to set to go. Dr. Rutherford has a message for parents who are still hesitant about the vaccine's long-term effects. These vaccines are not incorporated into DNA. They don't reproduce by getting into the DNA. They reproduce in the cytoplasm of the cell, the outer part of the cell. Uh, so, and they, they are very short, uh, they have very short lifespans. Uh, get your children vaccinated as soon as, the, as soon as you can. This is highly protective. Uh, this is not a benign disease in children. Nam Ngo says his son Landon is asthmatic and the vaccine would give them some peace of mind. It would take a, a, a significant like stress off our chest knowing that at least he has some sort of protection and he most likely wouldn't get hospitalized. Abel Artiaga says he's willing to wait years until the vaccine has a longer safety track record. Are you ready to pull them out and homeschool them? Correct. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I would say they could probably get a better education from home than they do at school. At home, they get one-on-one. -on -one. In, my, in my daughter's class, I have 26 kids to one teacher. So, kid, as I understand it, you're talking about 10 micrograms compared to 30 for adults in these 5 to 11-year-olds. Did they ever go above 10, and what did they find? Yeah, so when they went above 10, they found that they had more side effects amongst these kids. They got a fever, headache, and fatigue. And so conversely, they saw those side effects decrease when they dropped it down to 10. The idea is to find that perfect balance where you get a, a strong immune response, but uh, balance it out with the not-so-severe side effects. Understandable. All right, Kitto reporting live. Thank you.